Hi Pisces, this is Patricia from Cosmic Moon Child Tarot 1111 coming to you today with your August reading for 2018. For your new Pisces that are here, I want to thank you for subscribing to me. Thank, welcome to my journey. Thank you for um, being here and for all your likes and your shares and your comments that you have been giving me. For those of you that have been with me from the beginning, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for all your likes, your shares, your comments, your love, your support. I really, really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart, okay? And uh, I am a psychic medium. I am active in my community for over 20 years, giving channel messages through my spirit guides, ancestors, angels, archangels, Mary, Mother Mary, and Jesus. Um, and I'm also known worldwide, giving one-on-one -on -one personal readings as well. And um, Pisceans, you know I love you very much, and I always said that for you from the beginning. I just love how and who you are and how you are as a person, as your soul is, um, you know, the way you give your energy, the way you are so in tune with everything that's cosmic, you know. So I really appreciate all of you here. So before we get started with the reading, I do want to have a few announcements I do want to say. So I want to talk about the energies uh, that happened in the month of uh, June 11th and June 12th. We had the new moon solar eclipse in Cancer and that brought up a lot of emotions for a lot of people and I know a lot of people are still going through it at this moment and we are in the month of August. Though I'm taping this a day after the lunar eclipse in two, uh, that we had in July 27th. So these energies are overlapping, okay? And the energies of eclipses eclipses are from six months to a year at times. It depends how you are, how far you are on your soul level. Also, in the month of uh, July, there was a Mercury retrograde that happened July 26, and that will be in retrograde to August 19. Then June 26 to August 26, Mars went retrograde as well. So we have a lot of planets that are retrograde and all these eclipses that are coming towards us, you know. It's not easy because a lot of people are going to be fighting around you or you're going to be in, uh, you know, minding your own business and people are just going to be fighting around you. It's going to be like that kind of pull of energy. The good thing is that Jupiter went forward July 11th. Okay, so that is a very good thing. And Jupiter always brings, and Scorpio, Jupiter always brings surprises good surprises and blessings around as well. August, we will have a new moon eclipse in Leo, and that will bring uh, new beginnings for everybody on the cosmic level, okay, planetary. But the, the lunar eclipse in uh, July 27, the lunar eclipse that we didn't have for a very long time, they were saying 120 years, and Mars being closest to the Earth, okay, brought a lot of changes for a lot of people abrupt changes like breakups, um, losing a job for some. It depends, you know, again, who you are and uh, at, at what point uh, it affected your life. And also, July 27th also talks about anything that was karmic, that was negative, from past lives till now will be cleared. And these will overlap each other, so these energies will last us till next year. So the readings are the same thing. So I will do a reading and sometimes it would have happened before, month before, like I do the reading now and it already happened or it will happen if it's not in the month of August, in September. Just remember that everything is, it overlaps, okay? And um, I am accurate in my readings and I always have been. And it's not because I wanna be uh, in my ego because I am not. But uh, it's through experience and uh, through people uh, coming to me afterwards after I've done a reading or they haven't seen me in a while, they would co try to contact me and tell me, you know, remember what you told me and remember when you said this, um, these things happened to me. So I am here to help the collective and, um, and I want to help as much as I can. So uh, that was part of what I wanted to say. Also, in the end of August, I will do a live stream here on YouTube on the third eye. My third eye awakened in 2012. One day I woke up and my third eye was open. I had no idea what it meant. I had no knowledge. And I tried to get out knowledge out there and um, I didn't really succeed because nothing that I uh, was trying to search for was what I was going through. And I'm, 
And I'm kind of, I was kind of disappointed that I didn't find anything much on the third eye. And um, I don't know, a lot of people keep that very secret, I guess, you know, or I, I don't understand. But anyways, I was thinking about doing a YouTube video of the things. This is what my my journey was with the third eye. I blocked everything down. Yes, they say, uh, you know, not to eat this, not to eat that, and not to drink this. Yes, that's a common thing. But going through an experience sometimes could be um, amazing, and it could also be scary at times. So if your third eye is awakened as well, um, just remember to um, press the notification bell. Like that, you get the notification when I do a live reading here. A live, not reading, sorry, a live video on the third eye. And all of you could join and also put your input as well. You're more than welcome. And uh, maybe we could help someone out there that is like, doesn't understand what's going on with them, okay? And uh, so in my readings, if uh, you are listening to the readings and some things do not resonate and some things do take whatever resonates and leave the rest if it's confusing then it's not meant for you and always look at your rising sign your moon your venus and this month your mercury is very important as well for those of you that do not know how to get a free birth chart just go on google and press free birth chart it's going to give you a lot of links just follow one of the links it will give you the steps if you not know if you do not know what time you were born put 12 p.m that's the standard time for uh, people when they are um, there is it's, it's a standard time for people that don't not, do not know the time of birth okay and we'll give you all the rundown of what you need to know so let's get started with your reading as soon as I got into energy Pisces I there was so many messages I don't know how I'm gonna relay all these messages because there's so many out, out uh, so many of you out there uh, so I will start saying that there is a new beginning in finances and in love for you. Um, I also got that there's a message coming in very abruptly out of the blue that will bring you truthfulness, but it also will bring you challenges, but it will be truthful, okay? You're going to have a lot of new ideas. And um, now I can't remember everything because... I, I had so many of them, but I will. And I also saw wishes being granted for you. They showed me a, like a shooting star and you wishing upon that shooting star. And I feel that you are, a lot of you are at your end, end wits. There's an end of a difficult situation. And uh, you knew you had to cut and let go because there's new beginnings come for, coming for you. I also felt for some Piscean men, not for women, but for the men, if you did hurt someone in your past that ended up into a, like a fight and you said words to them and you like walked away with nothing, I feel that you are uh, we're going to reach out to that person. I feel that like you're going to reach out to that person to apologize or to close loose ends or to uh, do closure, I feel. For others of you, you I feel that um, you are dealing with a soulmate or a divine partner and there is a reconciliation as well okay so let's get started with your reading pisces thank you for listening right now i have my uh tarot deck here which is the uh, fairies i already shuffled the cards and i will shuffle them a bit more this is for pisces sun moon rising and venus i will take three cards out of this deck and put them face down and i'm not going to look at them and we're going to look at them together at the end of the reading okay so what are the messages for pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury. Where are the messages? Is this not too many cards? I want one card each or three cards. Where are the messages for Pisces? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I'm not going to look at the cards. They gave me three. Perfect. <laughs> I like that. And then we'll see what's at the bottom of the deck, okay? I already pre-shuffled the cards for the Romance Angels. We're going to do the same kind of thing here. So we're going to check to see what... Oh, well, that was quick. I think they have a lot of things to say to you. Huh? Oh, wait a second. Before I even start... Well, I didn't really start the reading, but these are just... I will ring my bell and put some sprays on. But I do feel that you are going to have an amazing reading, Pisces. I really do. Okay. And then put that here so if you have earphones please take out your earphones for a second and lower your volume 
For those of you that are sensitive with the sound, and let's see what you're reading. I need to clear my sacred space. Mm, I didn't like that one. Let's see. One more. Nice. Okay. I will take Archangel Shamuel. This is a rose petal smell. It's a very beautiful smell. It's for the heart. Okay, so I will put some on you. Okay, are you ready? Okay, some on me. I love the smell. And some on the cards. Okay. The next one I will use is um, to clear the sacred space from negative energies or identities or spirit guides. So first I'll do for you. And this works, trust me. And one for me. And the next one is Archangel Gabriel. Though Archangel Gabriel is a communicator, this one here is for deep healing. So I will put some for you. Are you ready? There you go. And some for me. And this will be the cards. Okay. Now, I will put a crystal. This is the am amethyst. I will put it on the first uh, cards that I put down. The next one is selenite. I'll put this in the middle. And then this is a clear quart clear quart uh, quartz crystal that I'll put at the, the on the third one. Okay? Put them some loving energy here. Let's get started with your reading. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What are the messages here for Pisces for the month of August? What are the messages for Pisces? I feel some of you are celebrating, you're happy, you're victorious. I feel also that you are in balance, you're in tune of yourself. I see a lot of celebration, being with friends, having fun. What messages for Pisces. So I will put the cards down, and you won't see them right now, but what's going to happen is that after I put all the cards down, I will show you which ones are the ones I am... Uh, pointed to show you okay now sometimes what could happen is that i could do two readings in a reading or three readings that will happen that's because my spirit guides are asking me to say something or uh, because that, that's how I, I i this is how i work how i do things okay and they want and i need to uh, you know i need to uh, show my messages Okay, in the ways that they want me to. So we'll see now. I'm not sure if that's going to happen, but it might happen. So. Okay. first week of August, this could also be at the end of July and beginning of, of August, <clears throat> I see a lot of energy around you that people are disagreeing, maybe fighting, um, or you're getting caught in situations that people are not happy around you. I feel this has to do with the Mars energy because it's the closest to the Earth right now. And with this lunar eclipse that we had, maybe brought that. I feel also that you are I, this some, for some of you, not all of you, but there's some kind of confusion going on here, or you're too much in the future, okay, um, or you're trying to manifest too many things at the same time. Well, this will be for the first week of August, okay. I do feel this. You know what you? I, I feel like you know what you want, Pisces. But at the same time, I feel like in some ways that you're also confused. I know it's contradictive, like you know what you want and you're confused. But I feel that this is for some of you, half of you and the other half is like that. I feel you're too much in the future. In the first week, you're going to have to make a decision and open your heart and open your eyes to something that you already know that's there. Okay. 
we'll go deeper into the reading. But right now, I need to take out three more cards. I'm just looking at the moon outside. <laughs> so, okay. What's crowning you is a Capricorn here. Or if it's not a Capricorn, or you're attached to someone and you can't seem to get unattached to them, or there's tendencies also be addictions but it doesn't have to be drugs or alcohol just it could be any kind of an addiction okay okay there's a lot of fighting around you right now i feel this started in the month of july actually it could be five weeks ago five months ago probably uh, and probably still happening today. I feel that that these were energies of people wanting to pick on you or, you know, something or you're stuck in a, where friends were, you know, fighting and you were stuck in the middle. I feel what's crossing you is the Seven of Cups. So the Seven of Cups talks about, you know, sometimes being confused or trying to manifest too many things or too, having too much on your mind or wanting what, you know, wanting so many things and not being in the moment. Because, you know, Pisces like to daydream. That's what I love about them. And the first week, I think that you have to make a decision. There's something that you know already. You know this already, but you have to make a decision. Okay? Um, so we're going to see more what's going on. What I see in the recent past is you are working very hard in detail. You're working on a job very hard. I feel you work with your hands, some of you. Okay? Um, you work alone. But you work very hard. You're working very hard. You're attached to what's crowning you is Capricorn. If it's not a Capricorn, remember this. It could be any sign. If you want more something more specific, you need to you know. If you want something like more specific, uh, you uh, you could cut, you could reach me for a personal reading at Cosmic Moon Child Tarot eleven eleven at gmail dot com, or not. I also have if you want a question, you could go on Instant Go. Everything is underneath this video on how you can reach me. There's something that's going to, in the near future, that will be fair. You saw you could be dealing with a uh, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn again. Or for others of you, this is um, a Libra. But something will be fair and just. There's something passionate that you're working on. Very passionate. Loving. Inspiration. Coming from the heart and it's just opening you up. This could also be a love relationship as well. Some of you are dealing with a Taurus. Because right now Uranus is in Taurus as well. So this has to, could be with, with that. It, it could be also because of the planets. This talks about commitment. Doing things the right way. This will be the third week. And a lot of joy and happiness. In the fourth week, where I think that everything transits, where everything is transit, transitioning... And going forward in the last week, there's something that's in delay here. Okay, it could be of an opportunity of a job or a friendship that's coming in for you. Okay, you can read it as you want to because I know some of you just read the cards as well. But I see this as it's in delay. Okay, and some of you will be in a relationship by then. And... The person that you are going to be attracting to you will not be hiding anything anymore. Every, I feel that things will be told as the truth. There is a also a knight of pentacles. It could be a king as well or a woman or a man. It doesn't matter which gender. But there's someone coming towards you. Again, I see a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn here. Uh, right now, they're reversed because the timing isn't right. It's in delay. Okay. We're going to go deeper into the reading and see what else is going on with you. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Wait a second. To me. Okay. So you could be dealing with a... Um, 
also with the Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. And uh, this person's coming in very quickly. They're very passionate people. Sometimes they don't always stay. They don't always stay. But there's something, it doesn't mean that they don't always stay, but it, they're just very restless. You know, sometimes they'll stay, but they're coming in pretty quickly. Okay, and there's something that you're not seeing, Pisces. Now, it could be that you don't want to see. Okay, the angel here is bringing you a cup for you to look at, and you don't seem to be really interested in seeing it. Maybe you're discontented. What is it that you don't want to see? What is it that you do not want to see? Again, you got the Seven of Cups. Maybe you're, you're distracted. Maybe you're trying to manifest everything at the same time. Maybe also here, I see that you are manifesting. And, you know, I feel for some of you, you really are trying your best to stay in the moment. Okay, but there's something that you are not seeing and something in the past caused you emotional distress, emotional loss, crying a lot. Or for others of you, you healed yourself from a particular situation where there was a lot of fighting. Maybe it had to do with this earth, uh, this fire energy here. But the angels are trying to show you a cup. And you're not looking at it. Because you're busy looking at... Maybe you're distracted and you're busy looking at everything else. Or busy trying to manifest too quickly at the same time. Juggling too much at the same time. So there's a thought. There's some kind of delay coming for you. It could be a second chance. It doesn't have to be, but it could be. There's some kind of completion that has to come towards you. But, okay, from the Seven of Cups, you went to the Eight of Cups, okay, where there was confusion in the first week, and you decided to walk away for something better. Wait, I'm just trying to get one more card, and then there was not a new beginning in the first week. So there's confusion, maybe. Too much going on at once. Not being in the present moment for some of you. For others of you, you walked away from all these cups. You had seven. Here you have eight. But the eighth one did not satisfy you. So you're going in search for your totally, uh, for having the, you know, your dreams come true. Okay? But there's a delay in a new beginning. There's a delay. And the Wheel of Fortune is also in the lane. If it would be like this, it would talk to me about a com something completed, something coming towards you, finance, finances. It could also be love. And the same here, taking that leap of faith and listening to the divine or whatever the divine is trying to show you here. But right now, it's in the lane, okay? Because you walked away from a person, a situation, now, why is the Two of Swords here? What decision do they have to make? Show me what decision that they, they have to make. Some of you are uh, dealing with someone also from the past that probably hurt you. You got the Cancer or the Scorpio, uh, not Scorpio, sorry, the Cancer but, or the Sagittarius card. I feel that here from the Two of Swords, you went to the Ten of Swords where I, this is what I felt from the beginning. They showed me that you were at your ends with an end of a difficult situation. For others of you, you are not taking this person that's coming in for you. You are not 
uh, you are not gonna go back. You are not gonna give that person that time of day. Um, and some of you are gonna walk away. For others of you, you're gonna walk away to search for your true happiness. And there's an end of a situation, a phase coming for you. You're not gonna feel like this anymore. Okay, if this was in the past, it could also be in the first week of August. I have to say that. Some of you are gonna be moving forward. Okay, moving forward. And taking the life in your own hands and just moving forward. Some of you are gonna be traveling short distance. Uh, but I do see that there's a completion here for you as well. Okay, I'm just gonna take one extra card here. Why is the Two of Swords here? What decision do they have to make? Someone from the past. <laughs> Someone that you're having a hard time letting go of. Someone that's a Capricorn. They keep showing me Capricorn. I already got it twice in the reading. If it's not a Capricorn, then it's someone that you're having a hard time. Someone that you, Someone's bonded to someone or you're bonded to someone from the past. That you, even though you're moving forward, okay, there's, uh, and it's like you're, this is like the end of an era, end of a difficult situation, moving past difficulties, and new beginnings, you're not going to feel this, there's still a decision here that has to be made, maybe you made the decision, maybe some of you are moving forward, but some of you are still bonded, or you're, you're getting affected by, maybe it's, uh, uh, for some of you, it, it has to do with addictions as well, it doesn't have to be drug addictions, it could be anything. I feel that uh, the first week of August, maybe your intuition will be off. I also feel that secrets will come to light as well. Something will be told. Some honesty will come out. No more secrets. Let's see what's going on in the second week. What's happening in the second week of August? Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Please comment. Let me know what's going on with you if you're resonating with the reading. Just remember, take what is yours and leave the rest. Okay? Always look at your rising, your moon, your Venus, and Mercury for this month. So some of you, oh, okay, in the past. Now, I have to say both because this could be in the past Okay, because now they're, show, they're telling me something about the past here. <laughs> Pisces, you are working very hard at something. Now, this is for 10% of you. 10%. Okay, this is, a, okay, so this is the, what I was trying to tell you, that sometimes I have to go into another reading. For 10% of you, that you're working so hard, in the past, you had divine love that came to you. And this is for men, Piscean men, okay? You had divine love that came to you. It was over, very overwhelming. You were dealing with a cancer. And this cancer is still thinking about you. All this water energy is thinking about you. They are fine. They're doing well. But they're still thinking about what happened. And they made peace with it, I feel. They made really, like, honest peace with it. And I feel that they're still single. They're working on themselves. The Nine of Pentacles. They're working on themselves. They've been working very hard. It's beautiful. But it showed me that there was a lot of fighting between both of you. A lot of fighting. From the Eight of Pentacles, you went to the Nine. So all, this is also an increase in, finance, in, fina, in finances. But for others of you, a second week, Pisces, you will be thinking about someone from your past as well. Well, you'll be more understanding. Something has lifted from you where you're more at peace with yourself. So much love and kindness here. Thoughtfulness, compassion. Even though there's people around you in the second week that are probably still fighting because I got this card twice on the first week and the second week. There's love coming towards you, Pisces. 
from the divine, and it's beautiful. Maybe this is the love for yourself, Pisces, for some of you. You've cultivated this because you've been working so hard. The divine is going to shower you with love. Very beautiful. Why is the devil card here in the middle? I'll show you the card in a second. What's crowning you? Is a Capricorn card. Again, this is a general reading, so do not get attached to the signs. Wow. Okay. There's so many readings. I don't know how I'm going to tell you this because I don't want you to get confused. <laughs> I think this is going to be my longest reading. You got the two of cups. Soulmate energy. Two people coming in together. Or you're bonded to someone else, Pisces. And you're with someone new and you're thinking about someone from the past. Now, for some reason, they keep telling me what I keep hearing is this is, has to do with a man out there. There's something that's crowning you right now. In the past, now see, I got the past and now, okay? Unfortunately, this is how it has to be. There is someone that is crowning you that is a Capricorn maybe, and who is a soulmate energy. For others of you, in the past, I feel here a Piscean man, and I got the, uh, the initial M and A. There's someone that you hurt <clears throat> very badly. Or someone hurt you with a third party situation. But you healed. Okay, you healed this. This is completely healed. I'll put this here. And I'll continue with the mo now moment in the second week. I feel you're more stable. You're, there's a stableness about you right now. Your ships, I feel, are going to be coming in. You've balanced your life. You have time to play. You have time to have fun. You have time for work or family. But there's something that is in delay. You've got the Aces of, of, of Wands and you've got the Page of Pentacles. If they would be like this, it would show love. A lot of something that's coming in from the divine, that's love, that's passionate. It could be something that you're working on, a project. This could be an offering of a, of, a, of a job or a friend coming in to help you. But right now, it's in delay. Okay? But there is a soulmate here for you. Maybe that's why you're, maybe that's something that you're not seeing. Right? Okay. In the past, you had sleepless nights. <laughs> this is beautiful. Okay. In the past, you had sleepless nights. You were thinking a lot. The Six of Pentacles that's in the near future here, where things will be equal, fair, and just. You got the lover's card. Another decision making for you. You need to make a decision. For some of you, you're dealing with a divine partner, AKA Twin Flame. Someone that you had many problems in the past because people think, oh, it's Twin Flame, it's romantic, oh, it's all love, no. <laughs> That's not how Twin Flames work. It's the hardest relationship you'll ever be in, okay? Uh, but I see Two people coming together. Archangel Raphael is bringing you, you, whoever this is. I would say about 5% of you bringing you together in the near future. Where once there was anxiety and fear, it's gone. Um, so you're dealing with a cancer, <clears throat> cancer or Pisces here as well, or a Scorpio. But you dealt with your, um, and I do see long term. <clears throat> Long-term plans being made. A 
It's going to be more stable. It's going to be more stable. But I feel that this is going to happen for some of you after uh, Mars goes forward. have to ask for another card. The relationship or in the near future will be more um, solid. And for others of you, this is happening. This is going to happen in uh, the second week of August. Some of you will have to choose between a soulmate and a divine partner. That's going to be a tough decision. Because there's something that you don't want to see. I hope that you 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 see the signs because the angels are trying to help you. Here it shows me that you have you will make your decision. Where in you know, the first week you didn't make a decision, the second week you will. Perfect. Why is the ace of wands here? This is for the third week. Why is the ace of wands here? Show me why the ace of wands is here. You got love and passion. This could be for a project or this is as the love that's coming through. You've been waiting for this. You've been waiting. You're enlightened. You've been waiting. You had the idea. The thought. The divine time. The divine angels showed you. This is someone maybe that you cut off in the past. I feel there was like some kind of cut off here. I hope you hear me well. <laughs> I am talking low because it's very late here. It's almost like 3 o'clock in the morning. Some of you could have been dealing with a fire energy, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, or an air energy, Libra, Gemini, or um, Aquarius. I feel there's going to be a commitment here. <laughs> You're going to get a commitment and also I, like what I felt, the Nine of Cups was just fulfilled. This has, this could be doing, this has to do probably with a soulmate energy or divine partner. You got new beginning in love. New beginning of emotions. This is beautiful. It will be the third week. There will be a lot of celebrations, new beginnings for you. Again, now, the energies could overlap, but it's here in your reading. You have a beautiful reading. You just have to make that decision. I feel like you know already. Divine timing is here for you. This is when the celebration will come in because divine timing. You've been you've been seeing some of you have been seeing the signs, not seeing not seeing them yes, but they've been coming towards you. Divine timing is trying to get your attention, bring you this love, to bring you this passion, and it's coming for you. A lot of you suffered, some of you not from the in the past suffered. Now they're showing me something else here. Suffer from a financial loss, maybe with this person. I feel you knew this person already, especially if it's a divine partner. I feel you, knew, of course, you know each other from a past life, but I feel that there was a commitment once, but you felt left out, and then you had a financial loss. Some of you lost money over this, some of you got married, got divorced. There was a commitment, then there was not a commitment, um, and you lost a lot. Okay, in the past. So you could, again, dealing with a Libra. With a Libra, uh, Gemini, or Aquarius, or they have this in their sign, like in their chart. Sharp words were used. Words were used, I feel here. Something that was unfair and just for you, Pisces. Very unjust and fair. This is another reading altogether, okay? Maybe 2% of you. Where you took a break. 
you have you have to take time to heal your heart. Your, you have to take uh, your your heart, your mind. You just have to take a, a break. Sharp words were used here. Very sharp. Too many cards. Hold on. No, too many cards. One more. Just one more card. What is the end result for this? I could tell my Pisces. Some of you will not let this person come back in again. You will take a stand. You will speak your truth. You will speak your truth. I got the king and the queen here. Opposite of each other. Aloof sometimes. They could be aloof. They're not emotional like you are. They're more intellectual. Okay? Head to head. You're going to come in and you're going to give each other truth. It feels for some of you that uh, where this, this person is that is hurt and left out and things were fair and unfair and just when they got the divorce, I feel if you lost everything here. But I feel for some odd reason that you're going to come together maybe for the, maybe this could be also a judge as well or lawyers. I feel you're going to come head to head to express yourselves, lawyer to lawyer. I see this here as well for some of you. Not This is not for all of you. This is not the same reading as the reading I was doing here. Okay? I'm just letting you know. But I think someone needs to hear this. There's going to be... There's a, it's been a lot of crying. A lot of you are going to move away from the situation. You're going to also relocate and move city or country to better times. And you're going to be on some, if it's not you, it's, or it's a part, if whoever, this partner you're divorcing, or you're going through med mediation or something, someone's going to be losing a lot of money here, or they're going to be very unstable with finances. You could also be dealing with a Taurus Capricorn or a uh, Virgo. You're going to be moving to better, pla you're going to be moving to better times ahead. And the messages right now were going to be uh, delayed as well. Okay, so um, this was for somebody else. I hope this helped you in some way. I will continue to the fourth week, the last week of August here. Why is it that there's a delay here? Show me why there's a delay. Oh, shit. I lost the point. Okay, uh, these are the, th okay, well, these are the cards that were given to me. Just keep working on your patience, okay? Things will come about. Some of you are dealing with a Sagittarius. Feel you've been working hard on yourself, healing yourself, taking care of you. Uh, you just, and you're getting a lot of insight from spirit. There is someone coming in for you. Again, I got the, now on the ending, I got the Nine of Pentacles. Someone's coming in, a kindred soul, someone kind, someone loving, someone that will help you. I see this as also um, a kindred soul coming in to help. This is Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. They're slow movers, but when they do come in and they stay, they stay, they're very loyal. Okay, there is someone here. This could be for finances or love. And they're also very spiritual. And you got the six of rods, which is the wands, which is victory. Someone that's known, I feel here. Someone that is, someone that will be recognized for their hard work as well. If you've been doing, working on a project as well. If you don't have any love, people, if there's no love in your life or anything, this has to do with a project that you've been working on and it's coming in for you and you will be victorious and you will be known because you created this balance within yourself. I'm going to take out the cards that fell on the ground. 
I mean, three fell. Sorry. I have to take them. Hold on. Okay. Oh. There we go. You've got... got the ace of wands you're gonna see things clear okay things are gonna be very clear you're gonna talk you're gonna speak you're gonna communicate very clearly ideas you're gonna cut through everything that is not for your highest good Pisces and the vine intervention is coming in for you okay this is a beautiful card you got the ace of swords you got the ace of cups and you got the ace of wands love divine love divine passion and divine clarity that's beautiful some of you will have your own business and you will be very successful because you use a lot of logic and structure others of you you're dealing with an aries and if you're not dealing with an aries then this is going to happen at the end of august when mars goes retrograde thing when mars gets sorry leaves the retrograde and goes forward you're going to be receiving this this could also happen in september and right now you're carrying a lot the 10 of rods okay talks about a lot of stress on your shoulders carrying a lot on your shoulders but this is an ending you got two tens you're on the right path you're manifesting new beginnings and it's happening for you you're not going to have this stress in your life any longer okay so now we will ask the angels no, actually, wait. Before I do that, the angels, let's get the three cards that I set out, okay, for you. So, where the amethyst is, the cards I got, it was balance. So, you got Archangel Zakia. The need for balance and moderation. Cooperation and compromise. Wait for perfect timing. Okay, and this is number 14. If you put them together, it's a five. There's beautiful changes coming for you. They all could also be dealing with a Libra. And they're saying for you to trust. Okay? This situation is calling you to have faith and to have trust. The second one, where there was Selenite, you got... The nine of air, which I had that too on the ground, which talks about you not sleeping at night, being in your mind, thinking negative. So here it says, expecting the wor worst, self-fulfilling prophecies and sleepless nights. And that has to do with someone has to release their ex. The time has come to clear your energy. And you could do this for the lunar eclipse. You could still do it now when you see it. Like anytime you see this reading, is a perfect time for you. And you could use the, uh, the full moon uh, ritual that I have. If you want it, just contact me at cosmicmoonchildtarot1111 at gmail.com, and I will be happy to give it to you. Okay? You got that. And for the clear crystal, I got for you the Eight of Earth, which talks about working very hard, skilled work, is rewarded learning all there is to know about a topic for some of you and some of you are going back to school but this is, this is I got it twice here and they're asking you the romance angels is to make an effort okay great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take now we're gonna ask the angels you know the cue about this okay so I'm gonna ask the angels here if there's anything you need to know, uh, Pisces, or something that I did not say in the reading to answer your question, ask the angels here. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and Mercury for August 2018. To say it out loud, these are amazing cards. They really work. What are the messages? What do Pisces want to know? Give them the answers and what and how they want to know. Success. Congratulations, Pisces. I'm so happy for you. I got that before. Next card you got is don't stop. Keep moving forward, Pisces. See, there's a completion around you here. Is there anything? 
everything else. Say it. And you could say whatever you need to say. Ask. They're asking you to choose. Some of you, they're asking you to choose a new direction. Okay, choose a new direction. Are you asking because I'm not is there anything else you want to say to Pisces Pisces my beautiful fish my adorable fish is there anything else abundance you have success you have abundance I'm so happy for you it's about time oops I thought those two cards wanted to come out what else is there for Pisces? Oh. Some of you will recover if you haven't been feeling well. So the recovery card is here. And the next one is the situation will improve. Very beautiful. What's at the bottom of the deck? It says a year from now. It's only, it's only in a couple of months. A year is like, so we're in August, September, October, November, December. Five months. Not bad. <laughs> I don't know what that means for some of you. I think you know. Underneath the Romance Angels deck is True Love. This is, this is the romance of a lifetime. And yet for other, underneath my Fairies card, it was the Two of Cups, which is the soulmate energy again. A relationship that continues to grow closer. A lot of you are going to have forgiveness and a positive resolution of a conflict. Beautiful. I'm so happy for your reading. I hope you enjoyed it, Pisces. Know that I love you. Have a great August, and I'll see you at the end of August with the third eye video. Don't forget to push that little bell, and I'll see you in September as well. Bye.